You guys know I'm a big old fan of the Wise Cam. In fact, I've sprinkled them all over my house. And there's a gentleman at Wise who actually has a post-it note on his computer because of one question I keep nagging him about. And I managed to find him here at CES. His name is Matt Stone King. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm great. Yeah, he says, yeah, you're famous with us. <laughs> well, I like to bother people, but that's fun. So uh, I'm addicted to Wise Cams, as many people are. I think once you get one, you seem to need more of them. It's a, it is an addiction. So I've, I own this Wise Cam. I own the Wise Cam Pan. I got the Wise Cam Black that was in special production for a little while. That was very exciting. Yes. But now you guys have something new called Max Drive. What is this? Uh, for starters, no relation to my name. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, this is going to be narcissist are you? You named it after yourself? Well, you know, they asked me what I wanted to call it. Was, um, but uh, this is going to be act as a, a cloud storage device uh, to back up the WISE cameras uh, to get your uh, SD card footage backed up so that you can keep more of it for longer. Okay, uh, so you would still use the SD cards in the uh, in the WISE cams to do the local storage? You'll be able to do, do both. Oh, okay. So you can have the SD card and back up the short-term stuff and then treat this as a more concealed uh, uh, extra backup to have more storage and that way if something happens to the camera you also still have a copy of the data. Okay, that'll be uh, even more important as uh, we finally talk you guys in an outdoor cam. I understand that's the number one most requested item. Yes, and it is coming. I've okay. definitely seen work on it, yes. Oh, fantastic, yes. fantastic. Uh, our uh, CEO put out an email at the beginning of the year uh, saying that it should be out by the end of the year. I gotta tell you, so. I love your CEO's emails. Yes. When when the Wise Camp 2 was, was like a smidge late chipping, we got all of these little updates saying, okay, well, take a look at the sensor. This is what we weren't real happy with, and it was it's all nerdy and everything. Yeah. I love those emails. Those things are great. Yeah, he definitely believes in transparency. Uh, so communicating with you guys, because everybody likes to know what's going on. So. Yeah, right. You got information. You don't worry. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about uh, what makes this cool. Uh, well, for starters, you can use between uh, one terabyte to a 12 terabyte drive uh, to uh, back up as much footage as you want from as many cameras as you want. So I've tested up to 10 stably on my network without any issue, uh, but I'll be doing more stress testing before we get to launch to, yeah, to try and give a more solid number on that. So for the people just listening, not being able to see this, basically it's a, uh, it's a round box that's got a, it essentially looks like a drive toaster. It's got a little slot in here. You can put in a full size drive or an SD, uh, I'm sorry, an SSD, yes. right? So, uh, how, what's the connectivity? What do you, how do you hook this up? Uh, it'll connect through Ethernet. Uh, so you'll have to hard line it directly to the router. Uh, but then from there, uh, the cameras just have to be on the same network, and it can back up uh, wirelessly to them so, or to the drive. So, is there software running on the Max drive that goes out and is sucking it down constantly? Yes, exactly. Uh, and it will be through your network, so it won't consume data. So, it wouldn't be like sending it to a cloud service uh, where you're going to keep uh, piling up more and more data as you go on or have more cameras. So, as, as somebody breaks into my house and they spend 20 minutes snatching all of the wise cams I've sprinkled all over the house, they run out of the house with it and my jewels. I've got that backed up anyway. Exactly. Okay. All right, so um, what, is the, uh, what is the ship date you're looking for on this? Uh, we're hoping for in Q1 or Q2, but we still have some uh, development decisions we need to make on it. Uh, we're still doing some software decisions as well in terms of how they'll interact. Uh, so I don't have a solid launch date yet. Okay, but, but first half of the year, yeah. looking, looking good. Yes. Uh, what operating system is that running? Uh, this is actually running Linux. Okay, good, good, good. And then uh, all the all the on Wi-Fi. Do you guys have a price point for that? Uh, right now, we don't have a solid price point, but it'll be under a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh! Seriously. Well, that is what's gotten you guys into everybody's home. You start at twenty bucks, and you're like, "Well, I must need more." And pretty soon, I've spent three hundred dollars with you guys. Not not that many, but I bought a lot of them. Yeah, definitely. And going back to our CEO again, uh, Ewan definitely likes to like our whole company motto is to give technology at the lowest price because we don't need to make a ton of money off of the product. We just want people to have it and enjoy it. Okay, that sounds like a great business plan to me because I am loving WiseCam. That's W-Y-Z-E dot com, right? Yep, exactly. All right, go out, buy a bunch of them. I'll give you my Amazon affiliate link for them. <laughs> awesome.